and welcome to Tristology Talk, Sex and the Empowered Woman, where we will be having frank discussions about sexuality, female self-pleasure, and intimacy and play with partners. I am your hostess, Roiland Downs, and this is episode seven. So it's my birthday, and I just want you to know this is what 53 looks like. I'm real excited to be here because um, we had planned on going to the snow. And when Lee and I were talking about what are we going to do in the snow, I said, what kind of episode could we do in the snow? Well, sensory play, of course. So I am going to be talking today about sensory play. And yes, I did bring toys up in a backpack on the tramway in Palm Springs, and I'm real excited to um, share them with you for sensory play today as well. If you wanna watch it on video, you can see me sitting on this rock in this wilderness uh, and the snow that I have my toys sitting on, and it's so fun. I keep looking down and seeing my toys, and they're all steaming up with um, frost, and so I keep flipping them because I wanna see them shiny uh, because I do have metal toys today. So, orgasm a day. Did you have your orgasm today? Well, at 53, and you guys can think of me at whatever age you like. I could be 43, I could be 33, I could be 38, like someone said the other day. But say I was 53 uh, and I woke up, roll over to my husband. Sometimes you're not in love, in, not in love, always in love, not in the mood. But we roll over and say, okay, you may not be in the mood today, but it's good for us and it's going to happen. And it's so much fun. <laughs> so even on those days when you're not in the mood, you can roll over and tell your partner, I know you may not be in the mood, but this is great for us. So let's just do it. It may not sound that romantic, but in the end, it's really is because you're smiling and laughing at the end. So have your orgasm today. So what did we hear in the store this week? Well, I haven't been in the store this week. So I have to share with you the funniest thing that happened while we were coming up here. I decided since the line to the car was so long, I wanted to get out in the beautiful nature and hike up until we got to the parking thing. And I saw the sign. So I took a picture. Now, I only took two steps away from the sign and these two gentlemen in a convertible Mustang looked at me and said, slippery when wet? And I started giggling. He said, I saw you giggling when you took that picture. And I said, well, of course I had to take the picture. I own a sex shop. And they just were busting up. <laughs> we were having so much fun. I had to share with them that I'm wearing my Crave Bullet and that I wear a vibrator so that women know vibrators don't have to be ugly. And they said, of course, darling, you have to be wearing that. So that was my little experience today on the way up here. I just love it that someone noticed that I was taking a slippery when wet sign picture. So sensory play. What is sensory play? We've talked about it a little bit in the um, Fifty Shades of Play with feather ticklers and things like that. Um, and sen sensory play can be almost anything. I love the idea that touch is your most basic sense of intimacy. And so starting with just your fingers and massage oil, like Uber Lube or massage oil candles, sensory play can include just touch. But in the place where I am in today, which is on the top of the mountains in Palm Springs, sensory play could include snow. So I've got a little bundle of snow right here. And if my partner was near me, I'm going to make a snowball. And this time I'm not going to throw it at him. <laughs> like he says, I'm like a little five-year-old sometimes. But I'm going to play with this on the body. So um, the inner arm is of your partner or yourself. Uh, the only person who touches it is your lover. So you take this little bundle of snow and the ice is such a fascinating and lovely way to create some sensory play with your partner. Uh, you can put the ice um, on the neck, down the arm and um, any exposed extremities because right now mostly everything's covered up. So if you wanted to play in the snow, you can roll in the snow and have all sorts of fun. But snow is a great way to include some sensory play. We mentioned 
uh, feather ticklers earlier. Well, in this environment that I am in, I decided to pick up this little, now you can't see it on uh, the podcast, but I picked up a little pine uh, needles on a little stick. And this is really kind of soft and fun with a little bit of prickly. So using those sensory areas that I talked about, the inner thigh, the neck, the fingers, inside of the hand, the inside of the arm, by touching those with something either a little sharp, a little soft, feathery. Um, touching with something like this little stick or this pine needle is kind of fun for sensory play. Even using your breath and blowing on the neck, blowing in the ear, licking the ear, um, those are all sensory sensations. So you can ask your partner to close their eyes by using any of the different sensations, so sight, taste, sound, touch, you can enhance the sensation of pleasure and take it up a notch. So say your partner closes their eyes. You ask them to close their eyes, whether you have a blindfold or not. If I was to close my eyes and my partner was to touch my inner neck, blow on my ear, it just, creates this amplified and kind of heightened sensation that um, is quite pleasurable. So sensory play can include any of the sensations as we discussed, sound, air, touch, and we can enhance it by using toys, by taking the toys and making them cold, uh, making them warm. We've talked about cold. Well, here in Palm Springs, right now we're in the snow, but in a couple hours, we're going to be in 70 to 75 degree weather. So heat is also another way. Melting a, a candle, a warm sensation, pouring warm oil on the body, um, even using warm water and oil in a bathtub is another way to create sensation, um, sensory play. Sharp sensations, you might not think that that would be really an, a fun thing, but as I was walking through the wilderness trying to find our location to be able to uh, do our videotaping, I kept looking at these rocks and sharp edges, and I think of our glove that we have in the store. It's called a Vampire Glove by Stockroom, and it's sharp. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be interesting to use a rock, you know, just a kind of a little sharp-edged toy and just run that gently and lightly across the body in uh, a wonderful sensation because I'm someone who likes a little bit more tactile so the scratchy beard I haven't found a way to replicate that in a toy that my husband has this scratchy beard and rubs it along my chin or my uh, neck it's really quite fun but uh, having something that is scratchy or rough might be a fun thing to do for sensory play as well so let's go into toy talk Toy talk is this time about toys that have sensation to them. So whether it is, and I'm going to show this to you in the video, so check us out on YouTube if you want to see the toy or see our store at tristology.com. But this is a MyStim eStim sensory toy. And so while it may not be part of cold or hot, it has an electro stim sensation. And so that creates a sensory play as well. Uh, and so I definitely recommend exploring some eStim and we'll have a whole episode about eStim. But I added this into the group because it is kind of a fun sensory play sensation because you have this vibration in the toy but you also have this little bit of a zapping uh, with the sensation so here I'm the first one I'm going to show you that has been chilling for about 20 minutes in the ice is our enjoy 11 from enjoy it is four and a half pounds so my husband wasn't looking I stuck it in his backpack he picked up his backpack and said oh my god why is my backpack so heavy well that's because he had this fabulous enjoy 11 which is freezing cold right now and actually uh, would be quite fun to play with and it is almost four pounds 
and has almost a two and a half inch uh, stainless steel head and then a smaller one and a half to one and three quarter inch with some texture on it. So this is an 11 inch toy that can be used uh, really well for G-spot play or prostate play. And being that it is stainless steel, it is freezing cold in my hands right now after being in the snow. And it is quite lovely and it is one of those toys that after you own almost every toy, you have to have an Enjoy 11. But the thing about the Enjoy is that you can also warm it. Warm it in uh, warm water, um, no no microwave. You can refrigerate the toy. You can uh, put it in warm water and not boiling water, warm water, and enjoy the sensation of actual a body, feels like an actual body part that's um, inserted as well. So that Enjoy 11 is quite fun. I also brought from Enjoy their Pure Plug. Um, this is a small little peer plug and what is fun about this is that uh, when you do have it for sensory play, the anus has so many sensory nerves that having something warmed to the body temperature makes it feel like it's not an intrusion, but also chilled can uh, really stimulate and awaken the sensations. The, so this little plug is so, so nice. It does come in a number of different sizes. So this is the small. There's a medium, large, extra large, and 2.0. So um, those are for a little more on the fetishy side, but they are incredible toys that enjoy pure plugs. When we're going into sensory play toys and we're talking about warming a toy or chilling a toy, one of the things that we look at also is the glass. You know, steel is a great way to go. So we've looked at the Enjoys, but the glass toys are phenomenal. And there's a lot of people that are kind of terrified by glass toys because they think it's gonna break. And I can promise you, it takes over a thousand pounds of Kegel pressure to um, do anything to break the glass. So all of these toys are made out of food quality glass and are like Pyrex. So I won't drop this onto this stone right here, but uh, it is a glass that will not break easily. So the glass toy I brought to share with you today is the Shiri Zen Speckled Plug. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. We carry a lot of different glass and uh, we have a lot of different glass manufacturers. Uh, we've had Liberator, we've had Steel Malone was one of my favorite. I think that he's been gone for a while. Uh, we have a Simply Blown, which hopefully is on our website as well. And the Shiri Zen uh, glass pieces are just gorgeous. But you can see um, probably maybe that this is steaming a little bit. It's got some ice on it and it can be chilled it's super hygienic uh, glass and steel are super super hygienic and by adding the the chill or the warmth to them they can be inserted or um, used for sensory play and the last one I'm going to show you today is the knob essence seduction now this is a wooden toy so wood is not necessarily kind of seen as something that can be chilled, but this is cold. It's been chilled. It's a natural wood, which is why I brought it into this environment. Uh, Knob Essence is sustainably grown woods that are carved just for toys. And as you can see in the, the video, um, this toy has a nice little hook on it, as does the Enjoy 11, which is really incredible for G-spot play. And then it is also so wonderful for fullness and I'm feeling both ends of this that's been sitting in the ice and or the snow and it just feels really really nice so you can actually feel that the wood is transferring the chill and you can know that it will transfer the warmth as well these are really really nice toys that are coated so that they won't splinter i know that every um natural thing seems to have some 
kind of concern for people the glass is it going to break no it's not going to break um, is the wood going to splinter no it's not going to splinter they have been coated and treated with layers and layers that are going to protect this beautiful art piece from having any issues and give you pleasure for many many years there are so many different wonderful shapes in the knob essence so de so definitely check them out on the website at tristology.com and look under brands for knob essence beautiful beautiful pieces that we have and then i did say that was our last one but you know it's so fun that i always wear the crave uh, bullet and I today is no different and I have my crave bullet around my neck I always wear it so people know that vibrators don't have to be ugly and it's metal so you've got a silver you've got rose gold and silver and gold and when you wear it into an environment like this you could stick this little puppy in the snow and you could chill it you could take it home and put it in warm water and warm it and it is actually really wonderful uh, for sensory play as well the crave Crave bullet can be used as a teasing tool. Like right now, I'm rubbing it along my middle finger, down my hand, down into my arm. And it really is a wonderful little sensation that kind of creates a little bit of arousal. So just so you know, I love this uh, Crave bullet because of the versatility that you have with it. So sensory play, don't be afraid of it, uh, whether it's feathers, whether it's a little scratchiness, whether it is warmth, whether it is chill, sensory play can really enhance and create uh, arousal. It can create, um, oh, I wanted to tell you about skin orgasms because I never believed that you could have like a skin orgasm, but because of all the different, you know, just isolating touch scratchiness, a feather, a little bit more roughness on the skin, it can create that arousal that you can almost have a skin orgasm by sensory play with warmth, with chill, with touch. So explore that. See what works for you. For me, I never knew that I was uh, an inner arm person. And now all of a sudden we've discovered I love this inner arm sensation. And I think our bodies evolve over time. And so it's always fun to find new things. And um, a sensory play is a great way to do that. Sensory play doesn't have to be limited to products that you can purchase in the store and you own them in your fingers, in your fingernails, in your skin, in your scratchy beard. And I just really encourage you, don't limit yourself and definitely figure out ways to explore and play with sensory play and figure out what you like. Do you like it cold? Do you like it soft and smooth? Do you like it scratchy? Do you like it hot? Some like it hot. Or... As we showed before, do you like it a little sparky? Uh, our little my stem is very, very sparky and it does give you a nice little zap. So thanks for being with us in this beautiful environment today and going through this wonderful sensory play discovery and discussion. I'm your hostess, Royland Downs with Tristology Talk, Sex and the Empowered Woman. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Christology for passionate well-being, it's okay to look.